Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. Good morning, and it is day six of the One Big Impact Share the Love event. So, today's video is actually going to be about non-scale victories. Let's get started. Okay, so I've said this time and time again. You have to remember that weight loss is not necessarily about what you're seeing on the scale. The most important thing are the non-scale victories that you see along the way. I'll tell you, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was actually one of my non-scale victories, which was it, came, it became easier to tie my shoes. I never really thought so much about tying my shoes while I was heavy, but at one day, I, I lost, once I lost about, it was about 85 pounds, um, I went to tie my shoe and I realized I could breathe while I was tying my shoe. I know it sounds silly, but some of you might understand that you have to go down, hold your breath, and you know tie it real quick or whatever, which was super stressful, but you don't even think about those things. So definitely keep that in mind, that's number one. Number two is walking becomes easier, whether it's just walking down the street, walking to the car, walking up a flight of stairs. I will say that one of the most embarrassing things was the fact that I was walking upstairs and you're walking up a single flight of stairs and say you're walking with somebody that doesn't have a weight issue, um, that's not overweight. Um, when you get to the top of the flight, they're not huffing and puffing and you are. And you say, well, I'm just, I'm just tired today or something. You know, I always made an excuse like why I was breathing and I would try to hide it and it would actually make me worse and start to hyperventilate and stuff. It was really bad. So that's another uh, non-skill victory. Another one, a side note, is that from fitting in the, being able to fit in the bathtub better. When you're in the bathtub and you have a lot more space around you, it's a really nice, comforting feeling. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. The next thing is uh, the sense, a, a true sense of accomplishment. Now, I know you know you like to lose weight and you like to see the scale go, but when you actually get your weight down, you're smaller, you're fitting in your clothes better, all those things are just kind of coming together. You just feel like you accomplished something. And that sense of accomplishment is gonna be better than any number on the scale, guys. So keep, keep that in mind. The next thing is smaller measurements. A lot of the times we don't chase, and I wanna make a side note, by the way. I hear this every day, and I'm not saying anybody specifically is guilty of it. Muscle does not weigh more than fat. Let's get that clear. It's like saying 100 pounds of feathers weighs more than 100 pounds of rocks. It's 100 pounds, 100 pounds. Muscle is denser than, uh, than fat would be, you know what I mean? This is the space that fat would cover for a pound, and this is the space that muscle would cover. It's denser, it's smaller, it's more compact, but they weigh the exact same. So you might be, you know, that's why you see a 250 pound guy that's completely ripped, he's got a six pack, huge muscles and everything, and then you see a 250 pound guy that's just twice his size, and you know, it's still a different uh, body composition. So keep that in mind. Muscle does not weigh more than fat, it's just denser. The next thing is, the fact that you loved yourself enough to make a change. That's a huge thing. That's a huge non-scale victory. That is a huge step in the right direction. You have to realize how beautiful that is, that you loved yourself, you're becoming to loving yourself more in each, each and every day, and you're looking forward to a positive change. Huge non-scale victory. Uh, the next thing is fitting into your clothes better. I will say one of the most, the, not even just fitting into your clothes better, realizing you can't fit your clothes anymore and it's time to go get some new ones and the feeling of getting those new ones and realizing your sizes have gone down that's a good feeling the next thing is when people notice you've lost weight that my friend is when you know it's real because a lot of the times we see ourselves in a different light you know it's like having a puppy i've said this before uh it's like having a puppy you have a puppy right and you're with that puppy every day for the next six months, but your friend hasn't seen him in three months. And he comes back and he goes, whoa, that dog's huge, you know, what's going on? And you're like, what? He hasn't even grown. In actuality, the dog's like twice the size, but you don't know because you've seen it every day. So a lot of the times we look in our mirror and of course we're our own worst critics. Uh, we look in the mirror and we don't see those changes because we see ourselves brushing our teeth every day or doing our hair every day. I'm, I'm not doing my hair every day, but. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you're you're seeing yourself all the time. So you don't really see a huge difference. So definitely 
uh, when when people notice then you know something's happening that's for sure and that's a huge non sale non scale victory the next thing was a big thing for me number nine is when you're in less pain after your shift of work now I worked at a retail place just recently and I lost about 75 pounds while I was working at that location now over the course of about um, five years I got to gauge it didn't take me five years to lose that weight but it, it, I was able to gauge over the course of about five years the pain I was feeling for the first couple years versus the pain I felt for the last few years was just immensely less um, less shin splints less tired I used to get home when I was at my heaviest and I just I just sat down I was just like crippled I was just like oh my gosh what a horrible day my feet were just throbbing and then once that went well you know once the weight went I got home and I was still doing projects and I didn't really gauge it but that was a huge non-scale victory once I noticed it and a lot of the times it takes a while uh, the next thing is a scale does not measure your self-worth or define you as a person that's number 10 the, the number on the scale means nothing about your character about your love for others about your dedication to a positive life nothing it really doesn't guys does it help you feel better about yourself and all those things that I just covered yes but don't look at that scale and say I haven't lost weight I'm a horrible person don't ever say that you guys come on you have to be your cheerleader because not every, not all of us are going to have somebody cheering us on. You know what I mean? This is your journey. Not everybody else is going to be, you know, aside from Healthy Living for a Healthy Life, our Facebook group, but not everybody else is going to be cheering you on in your life. It could be very difficult if you're a negative impact on your own self. So that being said, stop being so hard on yourself. Stop worrying about what the scale says. Yes, it's a side effect of you know weight loss and everything, but look forward to the non-scale victories. You know, look forward to all the things I just talked about. Be proud of yourself for making a change. You guys, if you're new here, like I said just a minute ago, please check out our Facebook group, Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. Also, we are in, I will say, tomorrow, I would like you guys to be is it day? Oh crap, I'm like forgetting what day it is. I think tomorrow you guys need to be sending in your weight loss videos. So definitely keep that in mind. It's going to be our one week weigh in. And also let me know in the message that you send if you are okay with me posting your results or you're not okay. Because the people that are the people that are okay, I'm going to go ahead and post your results and we're gonna do kind of like not really a competitive thing, but like if people want to gauge where they're at compared to others or whatever. So definitely keep that in mind. You guys, remember to spread love, not hate. Let's kick ass on this journey. We're not even halfway done. Let's put up some big numbers. Have a beautiful day and remember to spread love, not hate and hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Peace.